Hey, welcome to the Nobius Guide on how to install Bogus Mod on Epic. First off, you want to search a Bogus Mod, click on the first link, click download now, and then click on the click here to download. Then once it's finished, show in folder, and you extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever you want to use. And then once it's finished extracting, run the exe inside the file. And then you can click yes to continue. Once it's finished, you can go ahead and click finish, launch it open, and it should say up to date. If it's not, you can click on file, update, and you can update it from there. Next, you wanna launch up Rocket League and then press F2, and that'll open the menu for Bakusmod. All of these settings are variants for the custom training packs, and then also the modes for the D-pad and the one, two, three, four keys. Now in the items, you can change the color of your car, and then you can't actually change your body because of the hitboxes, but you can change pretty much everything else about your car. Current game. You can change the game speed if you want to do slow-mo or fast. You can change the gravity to either extremely high or extremely low. And then you can limit boost, unlimited boost, and no boost. In free play, enable goal scoring. Whenever you score a goal, it'll actually score. But if you have that off, It'll just go around in your goal, acting as if there was never a goal there in the first place. Okay, and then show boost usage. You'll see in your boost, if anybody has over 100 boost, they're probably using this because their boost will go up instead of down. And then if you turn that off, then you're actually able to have it be white car or, you know, you can turn on unlimited flips and do that. And if you don't have show goal score speed on, then you won't see the goal score speed. Otherwise, you will. In custom training, you can use different maps, enable mirroring, shuffle your playlist, enable variants, and in this, you can just configure whatever. And in the goal blocker, you can pretty much draw a bunch of squares and rectangles, whatever you want. And then once you actually restart, the custom training you'll see that there's actually goal blocking and if you don't get it in then it just gets blocked as if there's just a wall there but if you get it in you're able to score it okay onto the rank you're actually able to see your mmr on epic now really good you can see it in the queue menu and you can show it on a scoreboard after the game is over show mmr notifications basically your win or loss and how much you won or lost and then april fools ranked icons these are kind of fun and then POV goal replays basically just shows the POV of whoever's assisting and passing. Automatically say GG, ranked replays, all replays, pretty self-explanatory. Anonymizer, you can anonymize the replays, names, cars, avatars, titles, hide forfeit votes, only quick chat, and bot names, and all that. And the MISC, you can enable notifications, enable the developer console, which you can use, change the look, of your Bacchus mod, and then you're also able to equip alpha boost, create a hoops training, and enable light mode, and then disable rendering. Bindings, press F2 to open it normally, but if you want to change that, this is how you do it. And you can change pretty much everything else. So, in the plugins, there's alpha console and all that, but alpha console isn't updated for Epic. And then the Patreons, if you want to support Bacchus Mod, go ahead, support it. It's a really good mod, and donations really help. So, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial on how to install and use Bacchus Mod. Hopefully, you enjoyed trying to keep these videos short, and I'll see you in the next one.